Hi, this is Lou from Lou's Antiques and Collectibles, and we are heading to Florida. This is March of 2022, and we're in Ohio right now. I couldn't show you the welcome sign in Ohio because it was dark when we left. So we're coming in. We're between uh, Dayton and Cincinnati, and this is a really good flea market. We just wanted to make mention of it, this Trader's World. And it's actually on both sides of the road, so it's really big, really quite nice. So we're heading into Cincinnati, and we're driving, obviously, the whole way. And it is one long drive, let me tell you, for Michigan, but definitely worth it. And here we're going over the river, and we're going to be heading into Kentucky. So here we are, state line. Welcome to Kentucky. Hooray, we're partially there. This was our first day of traveling. We got to um, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and we actually had some trailer problems, but uh, we had some nice folks that really helped us out, and we were able to continue with our trip. So here we are coming into Tennessee. Beautiful mountains in Tennessee. And uh, we have a lot of action in these videos, and uh, we uh, it was quite an action-packed vacation. So please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. We could share you some more subscribers, and we would really appreciate that. So these are the folks that helped us with our trailer. We had some tire problems. Super nice in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Thank you to them for getting us back on the road. So we're coming into downtown Atlanta. This is always very special when you're driving. You can see how many lanes there are. It's crazy. We've been stuck in a traffic jam for the last hour. So we're getting close to downtown. Here's Atlanta, Georgia, right ahead of us. A little bit foggy. Today it's kind of hard to see some of the big buildings. And the traffic is terrible. Like always. It's kind of like Chicago. It's always terrible. Here's Atlanta. Before rush hour. <laughs> about an hour before rush hour. <laughs> Pretty buildings. And this was our second day of travel. We kind of divided it up into three days. Usually you can do it in two, but I'm sure glad we did because we were stuck in Georgia for an awfully long time this time. We took definitely took a different route on the way home because it was pretty tough. Here we are in Tifton, Georgia, KOA. We had a heck of a drive yesterday through Atlanta. It took us literally four hours to get through Atlanta. I think we will be avoiding that area next time. So, um, nice KOA. And today we're gonna be arriving at Florida. So I'll give you a little view of the place. They got a pool. And it's actually decently warm out. This is in March of 2022. So this is a, was a very nice KOA in Tifton, Georgia, and um, it was a great stop for us. And here we are the next day, and we're in Florida, finally. <laughs> what a long trip for us. And this was the first RV resort we stayed at. So this RV park had a, a really nice promotional deal going on uh, and um, they were very kind to us and we're actually going to be doing a whole separate YouTube on just that RV park coming up soon. So stay tuned for that. There won't be junking involved, but it was such a beautiful park. We just wanted to show everybody what, was it, what it was all about. So this first day we're here, we're heading on over to Mount Dora, Florida, which is about an hour and a half away uh, we're staying in webster florida because on monday there's a giant flea market called webster's flea market so this is kind of in the middle of all the places that we want to go so we're heading to renninger's so here we are at the renninger's flea market in mount dora florida so we're going to check this out and see what we think of it so here's the outside of the building at the Renninger's Flea Market. And there I am, gonna be waving to all you folks. And um, there is a lot in this video because um, 
this was a, a, a action-packed trip and we really went to a lot of places so um, you're gonna see a lot of quick scans of a lot of things because it was very uh, a very busy vacation so here's the inside of the flea market there's a lot of um, um, new items in this flea market and there's a large indoor section um, there is some antique dealers inside though that were quite nice I looked at a lot of items. The prices were probably very similar to what I would charge for things. Like this uh, tiger print, I've actually had a bigger one that I made $70 on. I believe it was around $35 and so was that one. And um, although good for your own collection, it wasn't good for me for reselling. So I passed on those. And like I said, tons of nice things, but the prices for me were just too high to resell. For your collection is another story but very nice dealers um, this Renager's is huge this is just the flea market uh, section that we're going to be doing and then the next tape next week we'll be showing the antique portion of this place so this was probably really a two-day place because uh, we did it all in one but like I said you could see we're really moving fast and covering a lot of ground and um, there was so much to see lots of jewelry of course all kinds of little pins um, I looked at these hats that North Face one was quite nice but I think it was like a reproduction I don't think it was official North Face so I passed on that I was kind of looking for some uh, more interesting Florida type thing or Disney type things to put in my booth that would be kind of neat from the area but I, I didn't find any of those types of things here's a large section of newer items that was in the flea market lots of little dollar items and things like that and here's a more a big conglomeration of a lot of different things there's old stuff there's new stuff and like I said we're moving kind of fast I know for you some of you folks it's a little too fast but it was a very action-packed vacation and um, besides just being our vacation we did a lot of antiquing all of these items on this table were around ten dollars each not a bad price uh, but for reselling that wasn't going to help me much at all still very fun to see it's interesting how different states have different prices this I would have bought for five but that rusted section there it actually filled in some of those holes in that filigree so I don't think I could have cleaned that and these were interesting I didn't know what to do with these um, they have a lot of uh, Disney type theme toys and I'm not familiar with how much they're worth so I ended up passing but I thought they were kind of cool and that might have been a really good deal they were like a dollar a piece I think it was but I wasn't sure so I went ahead and passed on those and now uh, there's an outside section kind of behind the building at the Renninger's flea market and that's where I found probably the most items I mainly just bought some jewelry from one woman her prices were really reasonable um, they had lots of dishes and things like that um, but not more for completing a set that you were working on um, odd pieces not um, not an entire set but interesting nonetheless the types of things that they had in Florida Florida that were a little bit different than from our area so this dealer had a wide assortment of dishes I looked at this teapot I thought it was Hall but there was no marking on the bottom and there was no lid on it so I passed on that but the shape was really cool on that one so like I said I was very fast moving we had so much ground to cover so um, I know it's going to be a, this one's going to be a little bit tough to watch for you folks. So just bear with me. And this is the uh, jewelry dealer that I bought all this stuff at. I got a couple beautiful pins for only three dollars a piece. Now she didn't have any prices on any of her items, so sometimes that's good and sometimes that bad. That's bad. You don't know. So um, that ring I would have picked up, but the bottom was kind of wore off so it, it's hard to know what people's prices are unless you ask in a few things to kind of get an idea this was one of the pins i bought for three dollars it was nice it had uh, red and pink stones in it and i put ten dollars in it and it's already at the mall it's a pretty piece and there was another yellow pin that i bought that i don't know if i have in this video or not i don't think i showed it that was quite nice too but she had a she had a good assortment 
but I was looking, like I said, for the deep discounts because I was looking to make money. Um, this bracelet I passed on, I decided it was a little too modern for me. And lots of nice things. She was very friendly and was uh, reasonable on her prices. There was a whole big box just full of bracelets, but they're the plastic ones, and those don't, typically I can't sell more than for a dollar or two a piece. Here's another ring. The bottom was wore off again. Beautiful ring. You really got to look at the shanks of those rings to make sure that they're nice, because if they're not good quality, they won't sh they won't sell for you. So most all of her rings were very worn on the bottom. Beautiful on the top, but I like to have them nice on the bottom too, otherwise they don't sell as well for me. And I only can get a couple dollars out of them. It's got nice stuff. I got one pin yeah. I'm gonna go. That purple dish or that green dish is beautiful. How much is that? Uh, that one that is, uh, yeah, that's the real McCoy. You got some uh, nice heisey it looks like too. Oh, oh, wheel it. That's got the Iranian. Huh? And this was a nice $5 table. And when I look back at this, I'm thinking, I should have bought a few more things. This was very reasonable, their prices were. And they were nice items. Um, but like I said, it was a big day and we just had so much to look at that um, it was quite overwhelming. <laughs> so this is, like I said, just half of Renninger's. And this is all still in the outside section. And it was so nice to see green and blue skies. I just had to take a little picture of that, especially after being in March in Michigan. It was just wonderful. Every day was just beautiful with beautiful weather. And here's more of the outside of Renninger's Flea Market. And this is Lou from Lou's Antiques saying goodbye. And we'll see you next week on more of our Florida trip.